Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 as we are playing with Germany in the Man the Guns expansion 1.6.2 patch. Alright, so uh, let's hop on into it. I already got loud vehicles in the background, sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, declare war on the Dutch. That's the plan for today's campaign. We already have our planes set up. Uh, you know, we don't have a lot right now, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, we got our plane set up already. We got, we got our division set up over here. They should have pretty good planning bonuses, if not completely filled up. Yep, some of the divisions are a little bit weak. They don't have quite the strength we would want, but that's okay. Because the Dutch only have like four divisions arrayed against us, so this is going to be super easy. Uh, we probably is a little bit overkill. I don't even need to use this ships honestly but i think i'm gonna anyway just to get the naval experience and to get some experience for our ships and hopefully we don't lose any as that would be salty uh so let's go ahead and declare war it would remove the national spirit as well so we don't have to worry about you know that anymore uh and we're not gonna we don't have any allies to call any damn way so let's go ahead and make this happen and that does increase world tension by five percent of course that's okay uh and we're probably just gonna let the ai control this because i mean let's be honest this is this is not gonna be a challenging uh, I do. I didn't change these guys' color up at all, so let's go ahead and do that now, uh, because they gotta have a different color. Uh, and yeah, they have a lot of these unique ones for Germany. It's such a bummer that I don't really like using these because I associate it with color so much that when I pick one of these, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know which army it is. So I get really s stupidly confused. And uh, we're gonna go with. I always go with the red heart, so we won't do that this time. Uh, we'll do something different. We'll do a red diamond. Why not? All right. So, uh, we'll just let the AI control this, because, like I said, not even the AI can mess this up. I guess we'll manually control it as well, because, yeah, it might as well. Uh, yeah, I don't really, you know what? We will control this, because, yeah, the AI is going to mess this up, I'll tell you right now. They're going to be attacking across rivers and stuff, and I don't want them to. They'll probably attack right there, but I don't want them to do. So, yeah, we'll just manually control it. It's fine. Uh, it's going to be super easy, so it's going to attack there. And then I want to say that, yeah, the planes do need to get set up as well, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's get them uh, moving over here now. And more ground crews with, uh, yeah, they're already set up for their orders. Excellent. And then we're going to need to go ahead and set the, the ships out. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these guys going now. Uh, we'll have these guys set to strike force. We're just going to do these two zones here. Uh, and then patrolling here. I don't remember where all the buttons are. It's been too long since I played. It's only been a little while. It's only been like a week. I mean, other than the first episode, I mean. Uh, no, it's been, I guess it has been a good, yeah, I didn't realize it's been like like two, three weeks since we ended that Dutch series, hasn't it? That's right, because I got sick, and then I had that, uh, that procedure I'd, I had done. Uh, so yeah, we're doing convoy raiding here with these guys. Uh, and uh, yeah, they'll go out there and start searching for those convoys, and our navy is set up and ready to go. And uh, we might end up getting into some battles here. Oh yes, oh man, I completely forgot about this. Ah, oh, damn it. Hmm. How long will it take for them to get here? My bad, guys, I completely forgot about. We, we want naval bombers. Uh, that's probably key uh, for us here. Uh, we don't really have a lot, so let's just go ahead and go up, and then we'll just have uh, any new naval bombers go here as well, so we have at least 100. I don't know how long this is going to take for them to get here. 9th of November. Yeah. It's fine. I'm going to have them go over here, do the naval strike, uh, and see yeah, we don't worry about more ground crews at the moment. All right. So it's fine. If they engage in battle without naval support, I think they'll probably still win. All right, so we have already taken here. Oh, damn it. I didn't realize how fast we were going. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get these guys moving back here. And you guys are all going to go this way. And they did have a bit more troops than I was expecting. All right. They were guarding ports, I suppose. All right. And, yeah, they're going to attack across that river. Super stupid on their part. Uh, in fact, yeah, we'll go ahead and get Rotterdam, and then we'll come up behind these guys. But, yeah, this is going to be a pretty quick conflict overall, guys. Yeah, Rotterdam's already uh, taken here in mere moments. Yeah, super, super easy, guys. Uh, should we go this way? Should we go? Th yeah, we'll go this way. All right, let's go and attack here as well. I don't think they're even able to get any fortifications built or anything like that, guys. I don't think they're able to get anything done. Attack over this way. Let's go and grab these here. And these guys grab that. Alright, excellent. And Netherlands has capitulated just like that. Super, super easy, guys. Uh, and I, I believe that should result in peace treaty that gives us, you know, we can get the Dutch East Indies as well. Hopefully. That's the idea anyway. Uh, so we ended up having a naval combat. We're going to take a look at that. Oh, it's just convoys. Alright, we're sinking some convoys. That should let us get a little bit of naval experience. 
some experience for our ships as well. Uh, while we're at war, if there's anything that we want to do here, it's a bummer I didn't have the political power uh, stocked up, so I could have used it to take advantage of the, this little short war that we're at and, and got something changed easily, but it's it's irrelevant. It's whatever. Uh, just want to see if there's anything else I wanted to do while we're in conflict. Uh, so we have this decision here, and yeah, we do not want to go with that one. And what's the advantage to this, this decision here? Does not have national spirit. What does it do? Okay, it reduces the production cost of fighters and, and results in all the other. It's just terrible. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to do that. Uh, so, is there anything else available? I thought I saw something else. Industrial land appropriation. So, yeah, we don't want to do that right now either. Right. So... Good to go. Uh, you know, obviously the rubber situation is going to change here, so I'm not worried about that. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we need to be aware of. Let's just wait until the conflict ends here. Any moment, we'll get this peace treaty going. And, and you know, we can keep on getting our our, our ships out there and sinking, sinking convoys, and there we go. Excellent. It looks like we cannot do uh, any more demands. Okay, so they did change that. Uh, interesting. Well, that's a shame. Yeah, that's a real shame. So they changed this where before, and we did this actually in a past German campaign, I believe, where we annexed the Dutch East Indies despite the fact that we never fought them. Uh, but they did change it. Uh, yeah, I thought they had, but I wasn't sure. Can we can we satellite them? Just take a look. Yeah, I, I, I think we'll try and satellite them. See if that'll work. And then, yeah, we'll just be conquering the rest of this here. Although it doesn't look like that's an option uh, if I pick that. I mean, it's irrelevant anyway because nobody else is in the war. Yeah, I guess we'll try and satellite the Dutch East Indies, see if that works. At the very least, they'll be a puppet. Yeah, it looks like it worked. All right, so we can satellite them. We just can't conquer them like you used to be able to. All right, well, there's that. All right, so I'm, I'm happy to, to see we got got them. Uh, we'll at least be able to trade with them. And we could always annex them later. Uh, then they have, they have something else. Yeah, that's right. We have some territory here. Oh, damn, we can't get all that in one. You know, when there's nobody else in the war, you should be able to do whatever the hell you want. Just saying, man. Come on. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, Lord. It's just ridiculous. There's nobody else in the war. All right. So let's go ahead and grab up this land here. And there we go. Uh, I want to say that's everything. Yeah. All right. So we're good to go. And we have Annex the Netherlands and the Dutch East Indies are now our puppet. All right, so I'm glad that we were able to get them as a puppet. I would have preferred to be able to annex them the way we did in a past campaign. Uh, but that's better than nothing. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, they have four divisions here. So we'll have to send some divisions to help them out. But I think annexing them would, would be a goal of mine. Looks like we can do paramilitary training in the Dutch East Indies if we wanted to. Or I guess it's the German East Indies. Yeah, it's the German East Indies now. If we wanted to slowly tick up their fascist support and their experience gain. Uh, you know, they already have 61% fascist support. I don't feel like we need to take that up any higher, especially when I'm thinking about annexing them. Yeah, yeah we won't do that. All right, uh, so we could always start building their lands as well to try and get them annexed a little bit quicker. Uh, take a look here and see we sunk nine convoys there. All right, awesome. Uh, and then we can go ahead and bring our ships back in. We don't really need them out here any longer. Stop them from doing their things. This is completely unnecessary at this point. And yeah, we'll just make sure everybody's going to our dockyard here. Could also move them over to that dockyard. We'll just move them over here, though. In fact, we probably want them to go within here. Yeah. Although they're not letting me move them. For whatever reason. Okay. We'll, we'll try and move them again a little bit later then. All right. So uh, let's go and get our, our, our troops kind of moved around. Uh, I guess the next opponent would be... Hmm. I don't actually know who the next opponent's going to be. Uh, yeah. I'm not entirely sure. I think it would be Czechoslovakia. So yeah, we'll probably build build out the uh, frontier. Uh, send most of these guys here. We do need a little tiny front there, uh, but we'll do that here in a little bit. Let's go ahead and do it on Czechoslovakia. I assume they're going to be the next opponent. Could be Poland, though. I don't know. All right, so let's go and get this set up here. And then we're going to make a few adjustments to that as well. Uh, yeah, just a few adjustments. Uh, and we'll go ahead and take, like, we're going to take these guys here. Move them over there. And then we'll take uh, any infantry that don't really have much training. And I'm going to start a new army to cover this front against France. Because uh, they can end up becoming a problem in the future here. Uh, we do have these divisions as well that we can go in and move. Let's go and put them, actually put them onto that front right now. 
I don't know if we'll need any more for volunteers. Uh, I don't know when the Civil War in, in uh, America will take place, but we'll we'll react to that when that happens. Uh, so we're going to take a couple more game. infantry divisions here and put them onto this front. And I might All take right. a few more from the Polish front, in fact, and, and move them over, over to here. You know what? We'll just wait until we get more troops over here trained. That's all right. Okay. So we're pretty much good to go. And let's see if I can get these fleets moved now. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and make sure we get this whole fleet coming on over here. I don't know why some of them don't want to move. Is it the submarines that are causing me problems? Like one submarine? No, he just won't let me move the whole fleet over there. All right. Well, whatever. Okay. So we'll get them all going over there. And, uh... Yeah, we're now we're just now we're just playing the waiting game, aren't we? Yeah, we're just playing the waiting game. Uh, and at the end of the recent war, the companies we have issued. Okay, so yeah, we just that that small conflict uh, didn't uh, didn't get rid of that for us. Okay, so we're gonna have to pay them. There's no way around it. Okay. Whatever, it's fine. I think it was worth going to, to war against the Netherlands. Mainly just, I mean, we're not really getting much from them. A few factories and whatnot. Uh, but the, the main use, of course, was getting the Dutch East Indies or German uh, East Indies. And then, of course, uh, we're getting a ton of resources over here. We're going to actually have to send some troops over there, in fact. Oh, yeah, we're going to start sending plenty of troops uh, over there. Damn. I guess once we get these guys trained up, war shouldn't happen for a while. We should have plenty of time. In fact, we actually have a division finished training. Let's get them onto the, the French uh, border first, get that looking strong before we do anything else. Uh, we are going to want to start sending troops around the world, though. Uh, probably mostly infantry is what I'd be thinking. Let's go ahead and get some more infantry training, in fact. Some more tanks training. Probably just one more of those. I don't know how many more Alpine we can get. Yeah, that would be it. Yeah, it's fine. We don't need any more Alpine for right now. Uh, we could go in and get the, the Cav training up. We'll wait, though. Yeah, we'll get a bit of time before we do that. And what are, the, what are they lacking? Artillery. We don't have the artillery for them. Okay, well, that's fine. Well, it looks like we must be doing pretty decent on the infantry equipment. Probably got that from the Dutch. So we can now pull from the infantry equi equipment a little bit. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And in fact, I never did build these. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Light self-propelled, because I want to put those into the tanks uh, once we get some more experience here. So let's go ahead and pull from the infantry equipment a bit. Uh, really start building some of this other stuff that we need here. Uh, we got... What all do we really, really need? Uh, motorized is extremely short. Yeah, we're pretty short on motorized light tanks and uh, the artillery. Uh, so we'll kind of focus on that, I suppose. Yeah, let's go ahead and build a bit more towards motorized and a bit more towards artillery. I'll pull from the infantry equipment as well so we can get these light tanks built. All right, so that looks pretty squared away. In fact, actually, let me take that back and put it towards motorized. We need more of those. All right, so we can go ahead and trade now uh, again from the Dutch East Indies. Or excuse, Why are they called? They should be called German uh, East Indies. It hasn't changed right here. Uh, all right, and that would, hmm, that would work counter to what we're doing because I want to annex them. Huh, and we don't need 80 rubber. Yeah, I don't know if I actually want to trade with them, because I, I think annexing them would be the best option, guys. It would be the best way to do this. You know what? Yeah, let's not trade with them, because uh, I'm going to start working on building in their lands and stuff so we can get them annexed, hopefully early on, is, is the goal. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's not trade with them. Uh, I think that's that's the best way to do this, would be to instead just trade with... Oh, Lord. Uh, we're going to have to trade with an enemy no matter what, probably. Uh, so it's fine. Let's just trade with these guys. I'm okay with it. Yes, it's one civilian factory that we're, we're losing out on, uh, but I, I think it's the best way to do it uh, because I want to annex them and I don't want to be uh, increasing their autonomy uh, by trading resources. All right, so uh, I, I don't think we're going to get anything else here right now. We're close enough to 1937 that I say let's go and start working on the 1937 tax. We're going to start with the industrial tax and we will actually start with the concentrated industry too. Yeah, let's go and start working on that now. Get that research bonus going going towards it. All right, uh, so let me just take a look at our troops here and make sure that none of them are training needlessly. And yeah, these guys can stay here. We'll put them onto that front for right now. I'm not gonna sign generals or anything like that. I'm not too worried about it, guys. We've got a while before I think war is gonna end up uh, breaking out with anybody. I would assume. And uh, to get our military factories uh, built, another military factories constructed. Let's go ahead and put this into. I really feel like we should really. Focus on the motorized. Motorized is uh, really lacking right now. 
All right, uh, renewal of the Rome Protocols. Uh, at Hungarian instigation, uh, Italy, Austria, and Hungary have renewed the Rome Protocols originally signed in 1934. The agreements pertain to economic development and rapprochement, essentially a declaration of friendship. There are signs that it may lead to an official alliance aimed at counteracting the growing revisionist and expansionist tendencies of Germany. Oh no. All right, so we really need to get these, these uh, troop numbers up so that we can uh, hurry up and get, I mean, we just finished the National Focus. I don't know if I can do it. We'll have to get this out of my face. Uh, so let's do the research first. We got the smoke generators. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go with industrial techs next. Yeah, just continue doing industrial techs. Uh, looks like we still have uh, research bonuses. I think they gave us two of these. So we'll go ahead and go after, let's go after the improved machine tools first. 58 days, knock that out. Uh, and I'm hoping we can annex uh, Austria now. Uh, we did build some more civilian factories. Extra research slot is a great option if we can't. God damn it, how many manpower do we have in the field? Let's take a look here. All right, so we're not there yet, guys. Not there. That's all right. Uh, 1937 is typically when you get it done anyway. It's just you always got to worry now about Austria, Hungary form, and, uh, which is not desirable. Look at the research slot. That's important, obviously. I was like beelining towards those. Is there anything else I need to be aware of? We're currently building something. Yeah, we're still working on some old-ass ships. All right, that's fine. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's not work so much on the the convoy so we can try and get some of these damn things constructed, man. And get them finished up soon. Sooner. All right. So we're about to enter into 1937. Typically in that first episode, I, I try and get the first year done, but, you know, obviously we had... Had the war in Spain that we're kind of concentrating on a little bit and distracted me a bit, so we didn't get to 1937, but we're here now. And my goal for this episode is, I know that we're like halfway through the episode already, but I'm going to try to get to 1938. Uh, so we have built up our fuel reserves now, uh, which is excellent. So let's go ahead and, and I can't even figure out the damn hotkey, apparently. Uh, stop trading for so much fuel. Uh, we might not even need to trade for any. Let's just see what happens if I move it down to one. And yeah, we're going to get there in a matter of days. All right, so let's not even trade for any then. All right, excellent. Uh, so fuel reserves will be stacked. That's fantastic. You know what we could be doing with that fuel? We should be we should be putting these guys out here to train, uh, but not using all of these guys unless they need to get their experience up. Yeah, I don't think we're going to use the capital ships because fuel is a little bit of an issue it's not that big of a deal but there's no reason to put these big old capital ships out there i don't think so let's just change this up and move them over to this one i guess yeah i think that's the best way to do this and then we'll move that one capital ship out uh once they finish training and then we yeah, will just train up all the other the rest of the fleet we'll train i think that's the best way to do it it does allow us to continue building up our naval experience uh and then of course uh you know, we're using the fuel reserves at the very least. And so we have a decision available, Institute Prince, uh, Press Censorship, which we're not interested in doing. Uh, we can modify our government as well. Is war support high enough? It is, excellent. Uh, could change up conscription, but we're good on manpower right now. Let's go and change to the war economy. Uh, we'll be doing total mobilization right now, and that's fine, let's do war economy. All right, so that'll give us more civilian factories to build. Uh, in fact, we'll probably need to go ahead and, and get something I imagine. We're going to need to change that up. Maybe not. Maybe we didn't have much available. All right, yeah, apparently we didn't. All right, well, that's fine. Do we want to start doing synthetic refineries? You know, I, I think we're, we're probably good with that right now, with the fuel reserves. I don't think we're going to have any problems at this moment. Uh, later, of course, I think we'll start focusing on that a bit more. Uh, we are in 1937, so we can start getting 1937 text. There's no infantry text here. I want to say the only thing to, to really work on is industrial text in 1937. Yeah, because the engineering is 1938. So yeah, we'll do uh, do these here. We actually have the 100% bonus here for excavation. Now that we've uh, completed the, the bonuses for the industrial text, we can now use the bonus for excavation. Knock that out in 77 days. And apparently these guys are not training. Okay, they are now. Fantastic. Uh, what we want to go ahead and do, actually, is have them set to repair any damages on their own. Yeah, so repair variety high, and then we're going to go ahead and enable. I should have did this last time, but it's okay. It's all right. And let them break off and, and repair as they get damaged from the training. Uh, no longer getting the effects from the Mayfield Bills. Uh, uh, Mayfo Bill's payment. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that, Mayfo, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. 
Uh, and yeah, these guys are all trained up. But once again, I think we're gonna keep them out there because we have the fuel reserves to do so. And yeah, we can keep them keep them training. Yeah, I'm actually surprised. Oh, I should be training planes up. Damn, I always forget about that. You can train planes now. Uh, I don't forget navies because they're such a key uh, key thing. But yeah, I always forget about the damn uh, training these guys up. So yeah, let's go ahead and train these guys. Uh, we should have been doing that before. Uh, so we'll get these guys leveled up here. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. And same thing with these guys here. Let's go ahead and change them up and have them train as well. Uh, and we'll probably build some more air wings, in fact. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's build some more air wings out. Uh, let's do... Yeah, we'll do like 100, uh, 100 fighters. And probably some tactical bombers as well. Yeah, we'll do some tactical bombers too. Yeah, and that's probably all we'll do for right now. Oops, my bad. All right, get these guys training, and then let's do the uh, the tactical bombers. Remember, all this does take fuel, so. All right, train. Excellent. All right, so we got those guys training up. That's going to build up the air experience, too. I, I just completely forgot about training the damn air wings. My bad, guys. Uh, so we got the concentrated industry. Let's get construction, too, 139 days away. And... We also got a dockyard done. Uh, improved machine tools is knocked out too. All right, excellent. All right, we're, we're moving down uh, through these industrial techs really, really quick. That's awesome. Uh, I guess we'll want to do the radio detection next so we can start constructing those. And I suppose that's what we'll start working on. Yeah, we'll get the, the, the radio detection. If I can build some radar stations. Uh, and we have dockyards, so let's just go ahead and get them like completely built out this way so that they can just finish, finish building as they get them. All right, excellent. And got the anti-tanks. I guess we'll go ahead and start working on land doctors now. We'll at least get like a couple here. And I don't like getting them too early because just how long they take and then you get, you obviously get research bonuses, but you know, you don't get enough to, to get all the way through the tree, of course. Uh, but then also, you know, we get the uh, uh, the theorist as well, which, well, I guess I don't really know that I'm gonna get the, the land guy. I don't know which theorist I'm getting. So yeah, it's fine. We'll go after some, some land doctrines. We'd like to get some of those completed. You know, they just take so, so long to get through. Uh, and yeah, I do want to make sure that once again, that we're not training this and we are training him. Okay, so let's go and pull him out and then throw him on over to here. Okay, excellent. Uh, so he does need to repair, but he'll, he'll do that in port. We did get a the extra research slot knocked out. Awesome. Uh, and it's just such a bummer we don't have this completed just yet. Uh, even if we put all the ones out that we have training right now, we'd still only be at... Yeah, it wouldn't be enough. It'd be at 513,000. So, yeah, that's not really an option. So we just need to we need to start building more, frankly. Let's just go ahead and build a bunch of infantry. That's the way we'll get it done. Because, yeah, we absolutely need to get get this done here. Yeah, that'll get us there. All right. So, yeah, we'll just deploy everybody that we can to get them out into the field. There we go. We won't build any more motorized for a little bit. Are we there yet? We're at 513. We're so damn close, man. I, I suppose we want to go down that route. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll do. Looks like the best route to go down. Yes. Let's go ahead and knock out this one. Obviously, infrastructure construction speed isn't all that important at the moment, but uh, we need to get those, those focuses knocked out so we start moving down further down that tree. We need to get a research slot available as well. Uh, so let's go ahead. That's the one we just got from our focus uh, tree, obviously. Uh, so let's go and get something selected here. Yeah, we're... Until I guess we're gonna start working on doctrines because I want to say there's not any like regular text we need besides like ship text but yeah I'm not really uh yeah I don't really think we need any anything here because uh, mainly gonna be working on submarines so yeah let's go ahead and start working on the the naval doctrines guys I think that would be wise though how much experience do you need to build it you need a hundred to be able to knock these out a little bit quicker yeah, I think we might start working on these so that we can get our, our submarines, you know, as good as possible. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so the submarines will hopefully be really good. Uh, so we'll start knocking those out so that by the time the war takes place, we'll we'll have it uh, have it secured. Uh, so we can go and get some more military factories building up here. Uh, how are we doing on... Let me just take a look. All right, yeah, we do have three full lines, though. So yeah, I think we'll probably work on military factories. Yeah, let's continue working on military factories. I would like to get some more dockyards, too, though. Uh, but we have some focuses that give us dog guards, so I feel like we're okay in that regard. Let's just do military factories. We're not quite where we want to be at in military factories, so we'll go ahead and... Yeah, we'll build there. That's fine. And we'll build down here. And 
throughout here. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna do one more. Uh, tenth factory in Brandenburg. Well, we have military factories to assign as well. Uh, let's just take a look at the current situation here. Infantry equipment's yeah, starting to deplete a little bit. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we need, frankly. All right, let's go ahead and we want a nice infantry uh, equipment stockpile, so we'll put it towards that. And that's really the only way we're pumping out these divisions right now, uh, is because we got a lot of we had a lot of infantry equipment. All right, so w once we get this this national focus done, I, I feel pretty confident we'll be able to annex uh, Austria and shouldn't have any issues with the Hungarians. Uh, so just kind of dip around the world and take a look what everybody's doing. Uh, so they're doing Mari Nostrum. Uh, Yugoslavia is doing army modernization. France is going with Britain, of course. And we do have some factories to get assigned here. And good God, man. There's always got to be somebody loud off in the background, man. <laughs> some loud-ass vehicle. All right, and then we're, gonna, we're just going to get a few of these assigned guys so I don't have to mess with it for a little while. All right, excellent. Should probably take a look at our... our oh, wait a minute. What the hell's going on over here? Oh, we don't have these as assigned to a fleet. That's right. Uh, so let's go ahead and put them into there now. I need to have these guys probably going to the fleet now. What's the name of this fleet here? They are the... Oh, good God. <laughs> not even going to attempt that, guys. No, oh, thank you. I'm not going to butcher it. Let's have them go to that, though. Uh, so we're going to just have all these guys go over there so I don't have to keep on uh, messing with them. All of them. Go to that fleet. All right, excellent. Uh, we don't run out building any cowboys here. All right, damn it. Shit. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, that got all messed up. I don't know how they how it took why to take my cowboys, but whatever. All right, there we go. We'll fix it again. All right, excellent. All right, so we got that going. Uh, we need to get the anti tanks as well. I completely forgot that we got those. Let's go ahead and make sure that we uh, put them over here. We'll put a factory towards them. Put a couple factories towards them actually, uh, and. You know, we'll do one, because we don't even have them in our units. All right, looking pretty good. I don't think there's anything else we need to do. All right, getting the uh, naval experience built up. Uh, got our planes building up as well. We'll take a look at our stockpiles and see if there's any extra planes to be assigned out there. Looks like there's a little bit of close air support we can put there. Uh, those tactical bombers, those are all shitty tactical bombers. I have no intentions on using, more than likely. I might actually give them to somebody. In fact, we could give them to them over here just to try and get them ticked. Uh, over a little bit. In fact, we should start building over here. Hmm. Maybe after we finish up those that line of military factories that we got going. Yeah, let's start building over here now, guys. Yeah, I think that would be a very good idea. And and the way we're gonna want to do this is probably do infrastructure first. So let's just go ahead and tick up the infrastructure in all these regions. And that's what we'll build. I think we are actually good at building infrastructure, aren't we? No, we're not yet. We don't have that focus yet. Okay. Uh, so we do have the ability to modify our government. Let's go ahead and pick something here. I guess we can do the military factories. Might as well. Yeah, I should have got that already. Actually, we're building so many military factories. That would be wise. Let's get the war industrialists. Get those building a little bit quicker. And that will also allow us to then... Uh, oh, we do have... Yeah, that's right. We actually do have uh, uh, the uh, captain of industry that gets that civilian factory... Or excuse me, that gets the infrastructure built up by plus 10%. So we should be a little bit faster building than German East Indies. We got excavation as well. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to have to wait until we get this tech to get the next excavation. I guess we can go after air doctrines. I think we're just really working on doctrines right now. I want to say there's like nothing else to get here in 1937. If I'm not mistaken, I mean, I know that we do want to eventually get logistic companies and repair or maintenance companies. You know, yeah, we should probably work on these. We'll get maintenance companies and then we'll do logistics. Uh, so, do we have any troops that are, are needing to be trained? I haven't really taken a look at this in a while. Make sure that nobody's lacking training. Nope, everybody's good to go. All right. Uh, we are lacking a bit of chromium, surprisingly. Uh, and France and Britain announced their alliance. So now France is in the Allies, as expected. Uh, we've completed our focus, and I, I want to say that we should be able to get this now. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, how many do we have to deploy in order to get it? Not much. So we should be able to get it fairly quickly here. Uh, is this enough? Almost. I guess we'll just deploy all these then. Like so. There we go. And that'll let us get it. Excellent. Uh, we're going to build some more uh, light tanks as well. And let's go ahead and annex Austria. Okay. Awesome. So we're getting that completed. Uh, and a lot of troops done training. 
Okay, uh, I probably should have been checking this a little bit more often. That's all right. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna be sending some, some uh, units over here uh, and also over to the German East Indies as well. So let's go ahead and, and get these guys assigned probably to, yeah, Czechoslovakia is a rough territory for some tanks. Uh, but yeah, we do need to assign at least a couple more. I want to say, just take a look here before I go run in my mouth. They have three tank divisions right. and one motorized. So they could use a, a maybe a, a little bit more. But yeah, we don't want to give them too much because I don't think they perform too well here. Nah, probably not. So let's just give them like a, one tank and one motorized. And then we'll pull out some of these infantry divisions. And then we're going to be putting them into like their own little separate army over here because uh, this army is going to be moving over here uh, in a second. Uh, we're going to be moving them off over to our colonies uh, and just get all the rest of these guys pulled out. In fact, we should probably put these mountain ships over here as well. And let's take a look at what else we have here. We have these guys go over to this front. And then the, oh, we have a bunch of them. All right, they all go to that front then. And we probably should take a couple infantry divisions to put over here uh, on the French front. Because we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need eight divisions over there right now. And that should give them enough. There we go. So we'll have eight divisions there against France. Make sure that all of our provinces are currently covered. And then this last one here is going to be going over to that army. And then we'll take the excess one division that we have here and move them into that army as well, I think. I think that should get us, yeah, that's five divisions. Let's go ahead and move them over to here. And then once they get there, we're gonna go ahead and get them assigned. Uh, we get them moving around. Uh, we need to protect our colonies, guys. This one's important for the oil, uh, so I do wanna have a division there. I wish we had built some reserve divisions, but yeah, we don't have any, so it's fine. We'll just have full full strength divisions here, whatever. Uh, and then we'll probably just move. I really just wanna protect this territory. Well, we might actually be able to expand into here and get, yeah. Get all that aluminum, that would really hurt, hurt the British. Yeah, we might go ahead and send more divisions over there. We did that as the Dutch, and I think it was quite effective. Uh, but we do need more to the Dutch East Indies, so we'll just send two of these guys over there then. So we'll send two over there. Right now. And then the rest of them. Uh, I thought we had, nope, oh, nope. We got two more. The rest of them will move on over to here, and we're gonna want them to invade right there. So let's go ahead and move them over there now. All right, and then as we get these troops trained, we'll be able to send more. Yeah, as long as we're not at war, you know, we have control of the sea, or you know, we, we don't have to worry about not having control of the seas, excuse me. Uh, we will have to trade for some chromium. Uh, I, I wanna say the Americans lack that. Yeah, so we won't be able to trade with the Americans for that. We can trade with the Turks though, so that's exactly what we'll do. We'll trade with the Turks for the chromium that we need. Uh, so we got military factories assigned. Let's go ahead and just kind of build this out just a little bit more. Uh, let's do, let's go ahead and do a lot into to the, the motorized here. Probably get the light tanks built up a bit more and the artillery. Hindenburg disaster, oh the humanity. All right, so yeah, should be able to get to 1938 in this episode, guys. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to. In fact, we could probably have these guys trained because we have the fuel reserves. Let's just see what happens when I put more uh, planes out there. Uh, and in fact, these guys are actually done training. So yeah, we can go ahead and stop all them from training. And let me take a look at these guys. Are they, yep, they're fully trained as well. All right, so let's just go ahead and do here in Berlin for our training exercises then. And we'll go ahead and put some Close air support out there. And do we have any fighters? All right, we'll just do a air wing of 50 then. Get these guys training up. Uh, but yeah, that's not gonna deplete the fuel. So, and we're not trading for fuel either, are we? I don't think so. I wanna say we're not trading for any fuel. Yeah, all right, we'll just go ahead and put these guys out there too then. Uh, we'll get them out there exercising. Might as well, although I think we need to Pull these areas here. All right, get them out there uh, exercising and uh, try and build up those that Navy experience as, as quickly as we can. So yeah, there won't be any conflict in, in the, any further conflict, I should say, in this this episode, guys. I don't don't expect this to get far enough along. This is going to be a peaceful episode of building up. We did get the radio detection, which is excellent. We're going to want to go ahead and get some radios uh, or radar stations, I should say, building. Uh, and what else are 
we working on? I think just doctrines right now, right? Yeah, we got the land doctrines, air doctrines, and naval doctrines going right now at the moment. And I want to say there's like nothing else to get. I guess we can go and go after the logistics then, in that case. All right. Uh, we do need to keep our eye on these guys training because I need to get them going over to, uh, you know, the Dutch East Indies or Germany. I'm just going to call them the Dutch East Indies for the whole fucking time, man. There's no way to stop it. Uh, so let's get them going over there and then we're going to have them travel. All right. Awesome. I almost want to put the training army. You know what? We probably should put the training army uh, up over here in the port now. Yeah, that'd probably be wise, guys. Let's go ahead and change it up. Change up their garrison area over to a port province. To make this a little bit, a little bit more efficient, the way we're doing this. All right, uh, so that we don't have to. They'll be on the ports automatically, so I don't have to keep sending them. Just have them guard the the naval bases. All right, so they'll move over there. That the shitty thing is, it does require us to then move all these divisions over here as well. That's okay. It's not that difficult. We can do it. We can manage it. All right, so yeah, we'll build some more infantry divisions out. And maybe some more tanks, too. All right, we got construction, two. Uh, excellent. Let's go ahead and do excavation, two now. 76 days. We do have that res uh, research bonus for it still. And we can now change up our government. Uh, let's go ahead and do... What do we want to do next? Still pretty far away from 1940s. So don't need the aircraft or ship designers at the moment. Uh, material designers are always helpful to have, like, infantry equipment for the 1938 infantry equipment. Could also go ahead and get the theorist as well. Uh, though the best ones, of course, require the 250, and so we're probably going to want to wait for those those guys. Yeah, I think that would probably be wise to wait for the 250, so let's instead just go in and go after the material designer, make sure that we can get that, uh, the infantry equipment. All right, so we'll work on that next. Still pretty good on manpower uh, for right now, so I'm not too worried about that. Amelia Earhart did disappear, so she won't be seeing her in the conflict, uh, and... We do have motorized troops done. Let's go and put them onto. You no, know, we'll put like one onto this front here, and then the other one will go over to the Polish front, I suppose. All right, uh, we might actually want two armies against the Czechs. Yeah, I might build a second army against them uh, because you know these mountain provinces can be difficult. And man, Czechoslovakia could put up one hell of a fight sometimes, uh, largely because of their mountain provinces. So we might end up. Uh, making this into two armies, taking the Polish one away, because, I mean, come on, we're not even going to... We're not going to be attacking them both at the same time, so I might do that. Uh, but we'll wait until we're a little bit closer to, you know, being at conflict with them. So we currently have... I think we should do, like, one more division over here to make sure we wrap this up. Because remember, we have to fight on two different sides here. So one more division here would be wise, I think. Uh, do we want to send all these guys? Let's just pretend we're sending them all, so I don't have to come back into this. And then we'll take one and send them over here. And then, I think we sent three here. That's not going to be enough. So yeah, we should probably send some more. Uh, do we want this many, though? Let's just do five right now, guys. Yeah, I think that would probably be the best um, best answer for us. And then we'll take one more and send them over here. All right. Awesome. Slowly getting them built up. Uh, but yeah, I'm getting a pretty large army going here, guys. Uh, and hopefully this will be enough for over here and oh shit they, Japan's actually having a civil war over that democracy uh, route Okay, so uh, Japan did declare war on the state of Japan uh, So we could always help in this if we wanted to uh, and uh, just to get the experience, but I'm worried that I would actually end up uh, uh, You know helping them uh, too much, you know, what I mean uh, and end up maybe even winning the war for them So I don't think we will do that. I think we're just gonna let them have their civil war because I don't I don't want to win it for them yeah, I don't think, and you already know that the Italians are going to send them support, uh, and I don't know that any of the democratic powers will send support to them. I don't know if they'll be able to yet. Probably not, and I don't think they will be able to. So, so yeah, the Italians are going to send support. I don't know if anybody else will, but I don't think we should help them uh, because remember, we can't be helping all of our enemies out as much as I would like to get the experience. I don't think it's for the best. So we have uh, annexed uh, Austria, uh, reassort Eastern claims. We can do that. Uh, if we wanted to, we could probably knock out another early war. Honestly, guys, I should, probably should have been working on that. We could go ahead and try and get a claim uh, and try and... Is Poland starting their own faction? Because that would be nice. They started their own faction up and then we could fight them without um, without having to fight the allies. If we just did a war goal, I want to say that world tension would be high enough. It ended up getting high enough where they might be able to pull them in. Plus, Czechoslovakia would be the next target and they have 
yeah, they have some events associated with that. Yeah, I think we're, we'll, we'll just wait, guys. I don't think there's going to be any more early wars. Let's just build up. I don't want to risk us getting into war with the Allies before we're ready. Uh, so I don't think that would be smart. Let's just work on other stuff. There's a lot of stuff to work on, guys. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll do... You see here. Can't get any of those right now. Just yet. We don't have enough manpower in the field. Uh, let's do the uh, Align, uh, the Hungarians and the Romanians. Uh, I want to do the Romanians first. And here we go. How can anyone say that Austria is not German? All right, so that's going to annex them. We're going to get political power, war support, stability, and we will reduce the the MAFO bill's uh, political power cost. So that helps us out overall. Uh, that's excellent. Uh, did it reduce it completely? Do we not have that anymore? Huh. Yeah. Oh, we paid it off. That's right. Yeah, so that won't affect us at all. All right, so we have annexed them. Uh, fantastic. Uh, and that gives us some, you know, good, you know, factories and a little bit of resources as well and um, let's go ahead and take all these troops and we're going to want to change them up to our own division designs so let's take the oh, well wait a minute let's take all the mountain troops change them up to our mountain division design i want to say that they're that one right there so change them up and then we're going to take these guys i don't want any of oops i don't want any of their division designs i don't see any reason to have them uh, double designs, you know what I mean? I guess we could have checked to see if theirs were superior, I suppose. If they had been putting time into them, I guess that's something to think about. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's nothing better about those, I don't think. In fact, we actually want to pull the artillery out of these, out of our cab, cab divisions. That would actually get us a lot of free artillery. Damn, I didn't realize that we had artillery in there. We're going to have to do that now, in fact. Yeah, uh, we can actually pull the recon companies out of here, too, though that would be 20. We do have the 20 experience. Ah, it's a bummer that we got a waste on here when I wanted to do something else with our army experience, but man, getting that would help with the infantry equipment troubles that we're having, some of the uh, different uh, troubles that we're having, infantry equipment, uh, and then also, yeah, I guess that, that's, that's all that affects it. I was going to say artillery too, I thought I said we had guns here, but whatever. Uh, they must not have had guns? Uh, hold up. They have artillery. Oh, because it disappears. That's right. <laughs> I was like, why did it not remove the artillery guns? All right, so yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Save that. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get rid of these guys here. I don't need those anymore. Get rid of them. And yeah, we'll just get rid of all these templates they've built. I'm sure they're shitty. Just assuming they're shitty. Uh, let's take a look at these guys. Are they better? Six with... They actually are better. All right, so we, in fact, will want to go ahead and change up all our division designs to theirs. Okay, then. Good to know. Doesn't really change anything here for us. Uh, but yeah, that, that saves us a little bit of experience. So let's go ahead and change these guys up. Although, we can't change. I wonder why. They have the same amount of, hmm, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why that won't allow me to change to it. Yeah, because it doesn't affect the cap. All right, well, whatever. A little bit of change up. We'll keep one in there, though, uh, so we can change it in the future. Uh, but yeah, these guys here, this is, that's our, our division design. This is theirs. Yeah, theirs is terrible. All right, so we'll go ahead and change uh, theirs up to ours as well. I'm sorry, this is a little bit tedious, guys, but it does need to be done. All right, so that'll be it. Uh, these guys all needing to train, so we'll throw them into that training army now. And Polish-Romanian alliance. Oh, what the hell? They're not even in a faction yet. Okay. Hmm. Oh, they're just guaranteeing each other. Got it. All right. So hopefully we'll be able to still get them into our, our faction. Uh, we'll just have to see what happens with Romania. Right. Looks like I did forget one division. Okay, uh, let's put them over there then. We've got civilian factories to get uh, changed up over here. I do want to take a look and see how we're doing on getting these guys annexed. Uh, looks like we haven't done much of anything yet, unfortunately. All right. Uh, but we'll be able to annex them once we get it fully down. Uh, so we, we do want to continue working on that. However, we also need radar stations. But, you know, I'd love to have them annexed before the war starts. That would be really nice. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, it looks like we haven't really built much over here just yet. So that's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, so let's do... Let's see what we're at, where we're at when we finish up those civilian factories. I think that'd probably be the best way to do this. Let's just build more military factories for right now, guys. Alright, we'll just get like five more for right now. 
keep them busy for a little while. And I'm just going to get these military factories assigned that we just got from the Austrians. And we're going to want to put it into artillery. Uh, how are we doing on infantry equipment? Doing okay. Let's do, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just kind of avoid that for right now. We'll do more to support, though, and more to light tanks as well. All right, so that looks pretty pretty solid, guys. Uh, it does mean that we're going to be lacking a little bit of equipment. In fact, we're actually trading for some we don't need now. So I'm going to change that up. Uh, and, oh, I didn't realize we were trading for tungsten right now. All right, and we're trading for tungsten. I'm not going to trade for any more just for one. That's not worth it. All right, so let's go and trade. And it's a bummer we got to trade with our enemies. We could always actually tick one of these down and trade with Brazil instead. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, question of Yugoslavia. Following the return of Austria to the Reich, we now share a border with Yugoslavia. The government of Prince Paul has been fairly quiet about their stance on the proposed reordering of Europe. Perhaps we should remind them that the time will come when they must make a choice. Uh, so let's say put the squeeze on them. It's the event German pressure. We'll see what they say. Maybe we'll have to fight them. <laughs> I don't care. I'll fight everybody. I'm going to fight all of Europe, guys. Uh, with the exception of hopefully the Hungarians and the Romanians. I hope they, they join us. Oh, China's declaring war. They did go that route, huh? All right, so yeah, China's d gone the, the alternate route where they declare war on the warlords, probably because they're not worried about Japan right now. Uh, so yeah, they'll be able to, to get some stuff conquered over there. Interesting. I almost want to boost the party popularity of fascism over here in Japan. Oh, man, you know what? Maybe we should do that. I mean, it wouldn't be that much political power. I mean, you know what? Let's let's do it, guys, because we have the ability to improve our relations with them. Yeah, I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Maybe get, and then we'll have somebody in Asia to help us out. Yeah, we'll have just us in Europe uh, with, the, well, I guess we'll have Romania, hopefully, and uh, the Hungarians. Uh, but in addition to, you know, a couple powers in, in Europe helping us, we'll have China and Asia and America in the Americas. So yeah, I think that would be nice, having an ally in every little region. Uh, so uh, we can't modify our government. Let's go ahead and go with uh, not close enough 1940. We're going to do the theorists, which means we need 250 power because no matter which one, I would want to get the best one. Uh, so I, I don't know if I'm going to do uh, air. I don't think we'll do naval. Although it does give a 20% doctrine bonus. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, that's like really good. Yeah, we could fly through those those doctrines with that. I almost want to do that, guys, and allow us to make a lot of adjustments to our navies as well. Yeah, I know I'm not going to do the mobile warfare one. Yeah, we're not going to do that one. Uh, could also do air experience, though. I don't know. I mean, we still got a little bit of time before we get that 100 political power, but yeah, I think we might go with the navy one, just because it's, it's 20%. That's significant. Uh, yeah, I think that's exactly what we'll do. And yeah, trying to declare war on all, all of them. Hopefully they'll be able to win against all of them. I don't actually know uh, how well they'll do against all of them at the same time. Suppose we can watch and find out. Uh, we do have one division done training. Let's go and move these guys over to the Polish border. Though once again, I am still considering doing two armies on the Czech border, but yeah, we're not going to war with them just yet, so it's okay. Are these guys done training yet over here? They are. All right, so we're going to want to go ahead and pull from them. Uh, have them stop training. And we'll move them over to here to combine with those. I want to say that we have some... Yeah, we do have... We have a fighter there that they need to combine with. So we'll go ahead and move them over here, I guess, for right now. And then we're going to go ahead and move some more planes over here uh, for training purposes, if we've got them. Uh, I mean, I guess we can use the older fighters. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't really matter uh, because... We'll be able to uh, slowly get new fighters in there. Uh, at the very least, we can get them trained uh, and continue ticking up our air experience and, and whatnot. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and do like 50 close air support as well. All right, excellent. Let's go ahead and have these guys. Oops. Pilot exercises. Uh, do we have naval bombers to, to move over here? I didn't see any uh, in a large number. We actually do. We can, we can get like 50. All right, let's get these guys training. Lovely. Yeah, we are completely full on our fuel right now. Yeah, we can train as much as we want. And I think that's largely because of us taking this here. That's the reason why. Uh, that's where we got that fuel from. Okay, so we should have our troops over here now, or a bunch of them anyway. Uh, yeah, they're almost all there. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and get this uh, tech selected, and then we're probably going to do something with those guys. Uh, get them prepared. Let's do... Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're... Uh, yeah, I don't think we have anything to get. 
Uh, no. Oh, oh, Air Doctrines. We just knocked out an Air Doctrine. Okay, so we can go ahead and get the next one. Were we working on Air Doctrines yet? You know what I said we were? I don't think we were working on Air Doctrines. I think I made that shit up. <laughs> I absolutely did. All right, so let's get the dive bomb in next. We're not going to use experience for that. We're going to use our experience for our planes. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and get those. And then... What are these guys doing? Did I mess something up? Huh. Yeah, I clearly did something. I don't know what I did. And I don't know how I did it. <laughs> okay. So clearly I, I added some some divisions. Yeah, what the hell did the hell, hell did I do that? I have no idea. Alright. Whatever, I fucked it up though. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what the hell I did there, guys. Alright, yeah, these guys should all be coming over here. Yeah, I accidentally clicked something or, or whatever. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I did. All right, well, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys. You know what? We actually probably want to give them... Oh, we can pull the other ones out. It's fine. Let's go ahead and put them over here and give them some orders. I might move them around a little bit on my own once, once we're more prepared for war with the Allies. Uh, and, yeah, we got those guys on there, and we'll place this guy who's going over here. Uh, I'll make sure he goes over there as well come on there we go all right uh we did finish the align romania let's go ahead and align the hungarians next i guess i could have took a look to see if there's anything uh, available over here we do want to befriend uh the chinese as well and eventually do that but you know it's fine as it is I don't think we're going to get into 1938, guys. Must have did too much talking or too much bullshit or something. Because, yeah, we are moving slower than I was expecting. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the factories assigned to... It looks like tanks and artillery is really what we need the most right now. So let's go ahead and do 15 in the tanks, 15 in our artillery. And we can modify our government. Oh, yes, that's right. I keep on forgetting about that. Uh, so let's go ahead and build troops because I think we're... Yeah, let's go ahead and deploy any troops here. And let's go ahead and build up a little bit more. And, yeah, I mean, these tanks, they don't really have the equipment that they need. Yeah, we're just really short equipment. I'm not going to build any more tanks, guys, because right now, like, all of our tank units are short because, uh, yeah, we just don't have the tank numbers. Uh, let's go ahead and take some, some of these infantry out and move them elsewhere. Uh, let's go ahead and take... Uh, I think we have five here. That might be enough, but once we go to war, we're not going to be able to, to actually send any more troops over here. So that could end up being a problem. Uh, so I, I think we should send whatever troops we want to send over here. We should send now. Uh, it would probably be wise. And I'm thinking like maybe a total of eight divisions here would be enough until we're at war with Japan. Yeah, I think that'll be enough. Uh, we could also build with their uh, with their manpower. I suppose we could start working on that. I don't know why I hadn't done that yet. Probably should. Uh, let's go and place these guys over here. And they'll place these here. And yeah, that'll be eight divisions. I think that's probably good. And then what we'll do is we'll take the troops here and put them into their own little army here. I'm not really worried about armies and stuff right now. Uh, it's fine. We'll, we'll change up color and do all that kind of stuff when we get a little bit closer to the conflict. Uh, but what I want to do is send another division over here. So we'll have a total of three divisions here, and hopefully that'll be enough to get the job done. I guess we'll find out. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I guess we'll see how much excess divisions we have. Uh, but I want to make sure that we got all of our uh, all the fronts here secure before we before we do anything crazy. Like let's send another division over there, and then remember we're gonna have to fight uh, Belgium as well. So we're gonna make sure that we have troops for that. Let's go and take these guys and send them over to this Polish front for right now. All right. Looking pretty squared away. Oh, we got mountain troops. I don't want to take too many alpine troops and, and put them over here uh, because I don't think they're like that great. Let's see how many we have. We have six. All right, so what we'll do is we'll take one of them and then we can always move them over to that front. Do the Polish have mountains? We got a little bit. We can move them over there. We'll have them go specifically down to here. Have that guy move up there. All right, so we'll do that and then we'll just take the, uh, the troops that we, we moved out. Uh, two infantry divisions here and put them onto this front. All right, uh, so got maintenance companies, excellent. Let's go ahead and go after, yeah, we don't don't really have a lot of options uh, available to us and stuff to get until we get to 1938, because uh, kind of just flew through the 
early tech tree. It seems like that's always the case, kind of really in the new version, you kind of fly through the early tech tree, but then you have problems when you get to the uh, later, uh, you can't get anything researched. You have so much stuff you have to get. I almost want to go ahead and start working towards 1938 text. I mean, we're still kind of far away though. So uh, yeah, I guess that wouldn't be wise. Uh, let's do, I, I suppose we can do, go down the, the naval doctrines then. We're never going to get carriers, more than likely. Yeah, I don't see us getting carriers, uh, but there is some other stuff here for destroyers and escort efficiency. Uh, and naval targeting, I believe that affects, yeah, all of your planes. I uh, could be wrong, but yeah, that might be something we want to get, even though we're not going to get carriers. Yeah, it could be wise. Let's go after these ones, the light cruisers. And... Yeah, we'll just go after the, the naval doctrines because we won't have any time to do it later anyways. Uh, we're going to be so distracted with other techs. Uh, it'd be wise to get them early on. All right, so I don't know if three divisions is going to be enough over here uh, because it looks like they have two here and then they have at least one. The French have at least one and we'll have to fight them both at the same time. So yeah, I wonder if this is going to be uh, enough divisions, uh, but I don't want to send any more than three because I don't really want to concentrate on this this theater. Uh, honestly. Yeah, I don't think we'll, we'll send any more, though holding that oil there would be super useful, though I think they'll probably end up sinking all of our goddamn convoys, though. Uh, so, you know what? I'm not going to send any more divisions over there right now. It's fine. Let's just send them all over to Poland, to the Polish border. Did we at least get the 24 divisions over there for right now? Uh, but yeah, I think we are going to go ahead and do two, two armies here. We'll do that next episode, though, because this one is just about over. I'm just trying to get these guys placed somewhere. So they're not training needlessly. Trying to get the 1938, but you know what? We might end up stopping here, guys, because, yeah, it is getting a little bit late. Uh, so I think I'm going to have to stop here. I was trying to get to the end of 1938. This has already been a fairly long division er, episode, though. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and start creating our, our uh, cab uh, army here. Oops. And then we'll just go ahead and take both of these guys and have them go to Berlin for right now. Although this guy's going to have to come this way. There we go. And uh, get them moving over to there. We do not have the experience to, to train and you change up our troop division, uh, troop designs right now, unfortunately. We can get the theorists though, and I think we are gonna go at, go after the submarine specialists uh, to get those those trade interdiction doctrines done faster and allow us to make more adjustments to our, our ships. Uh, you know, uh, right now we're still attempting to complete these current ships here. We only have two more left and then we'll get to do some ship designs. So that'll be next episode that we'll finally get to mess around with the ship designer. Let's go and trade with the Turks again. And we'll get some tungsten too. I suppose we can trade with Sweden. Oh, nope, they don't have enough for us. Uh, so let's do, oh, the United States. All right, awesome. So yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and end it here, guys. Uh, I think that's a fantastic place to end it. Uh, we're really starting to get some stuff done. I think uh, next episode, maybe there might be the conflict might start. It's hard to say. Uh, we'll take a look at what everybody's doing. Industrial effort, doing the levy there. Italians are doing their claims on Yugoslavia. So uh, Yugoslavia might end up getting conquered by Italy. Uh, supporting domestic industry, Black Sea dominance, improving the railway network, uh, moder uh, motorization scheme. Uh, I went to go look at the Dutch. I forgot the Dutch are gone. There are no more Dutch. Uh, Indian Institute of Science, establishing the Atomics Energy Board, uh, Civil Construction Corps. Uh, I don't think they have a focus tree. Uh, and China Army Reform, Small Arms moder Modernization, uh, expanding the Devonport Naval Base, uh, allying with the Silver Shirts. All right, so they're starting to get it done. Uh, let's take a look what this one does. Moves them closer to Civil War, but yeah, I don't know if they have the Civil War yet. I think they might They might need to select one other thing to get it. I guess we'll see what happens. I haven't gone down this route with America yet, so we'll see what happens. They might end up having the con the Civil War start soon, which will allow us to help them out. We'll send some volunteers make sure they, they complete it. Uh, so uh, they're working on that, and they're working on that. Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, if you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, Hit that notification bell and leave a comment. Hope to see you on the next episode. And thanks for watching, guys.